crops in East Africa, including passion fruit, acacia, coffee, papaya and vanilla, require pollination. Most pollinators are wild insects, many of them forest insects. Protecting species-rich habitats, such as forest patches, protects these pollinators and contributes to food security and rural livelihoods. Today, Kenya's last forests are islands in the sea of agriculture that feeds Kenya's booming population. Only 1.7% of Kenya remains forested, but these forest islands are where most insects survive. Farmers often take for granted what these tiny insects do. And they may look like ants or wasps, little pests, but they really are essential for the survival of this plant. Dino Martins, chairman of the Insect Committee of Nature Kenya, grew up in rural Kenya, fascinated by insects and their role in nature. Today, watching insects is his profession. He focuses on farmland edges and the last forest patches, which also support thousands of species of frog, butterflies, orchids and trees. Insects are critical to all biodiversity, and yet they are often overlooked in conservation. Many farmers don't appreciate that it's wild insects like these that are responsible for the yields that they're able to harvest. Whenever they see large insects, large caterpillars that, that are the larval forms of these moths, they immediately kill them without realizing, in so doing, they're threatening the very food that they're trying to grow. Education on the value of insects is a key part of Dino's work, and he works extensively with schools, communities, and farmers. It's hard because people have really had a lot of, of bad attitudes towards insects, but they can change their views with education and with demonstration farms and visiting other farmers and talking to them and showing them you know, the difference in yield. Dino's tapping local expertise on insects too. Farmers who harvest honey are able to sell it, while their bees pollinate vital crops. And every single bee that's coming back is loaded with pollen and that pollen comes from dozens of different flowers and that means that each bee this morning has already pollinated probably 10, 15, possibly 20 different flowers. Farmers, who Dino encouraged to stop killing bees and other insects, have enjoyed bumper yields and are recognising the importance of the small things that run the world. <laughs>